In this video, we will review static imports within the Java programming language. Static imports allow the static items of another class to be referenced without qualification. Remember, used indiscriminately, this can make code more difficult to understand, not easier to understand. There are certain instances when static imports can be beneficial. Let me show you an example. Here we have integer calling the static variable max value. We can also import this statically. By statically importing the java.lang integers.max value, it will be available to us. Let's see how I can use it in the class. I'm going to copy these fields. I'm just going to add this. Maximum value of integer using static import. Now I don't need this integer qualifier here. And I can do the same thing here now. Let me expand this so you can see. Here's a good tip. A good idea of when to use static import or when it is likely acceptable is using it in constants. For example, a scientific or engineering application might make wide use of math.py. A static import of java.lang.math would allow a class to replace math.py with simply pi. Just like here, we replaced integer.min value with just min value. Remember, to use static imports sparingly as to prevent misuse of your code or difficulty enhancing it correctly. This concludes our discussions of static imports in Java.